around here. Yep, here we are. We're good. This should be where your quest is right here for the blue diamond if you hit the M key. Mm -hmm. I believe the maps, when you hit the M key, I believe the way they've laid out the maps with east, west, it matches up, you know, when you're looking in the map inside of the dungeon to get to the exit part. Practice my sea walk here. Let's see. Don't do, don't do, don't do, don't. Let's see if I can get. Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh, boss fight. Oh, this is chain lightning heaven right here. Look at this. Oh, thank you, my. Look at this. Ah, oh, chain. I'm gonna keep boosting that chain lightning all the way up. That's incredible. No mana consumption. Fire is bad. Just stay out of it. He's easy. He he telegraphs his moves so plain. You got this. Ooh. Did you ever, did I ever give you that killer loot filter where you hide everything, everything that you don't need, and then you tell it to show the things, here I'll show you something just to make sure you understand, like if you hover your mouse above your powers, Q, W, E, R, whatever they are, you're going to see these things called scaling tags, and I don't know if I uh, shared that with you. So. You want to hit, you want to set up a loot filter eventually. If you hold Shift F, that hides everything that is not one of those scaling filters or a resistance. You know, you still need, even though you have nothing to do, let's say, um, let's say you have nothing to do with, with cold, you're a warlock and you're just completely fire, you still want to pick up resistances to cold damage, right? So you keep those unhidden, but but you only want to pick up weapons that have like at least and you can be you can be um selective and say i only want to see a weapon drops that has at least two of the scaling tags that i want or at least three or you can then get when you start gearing yourself up you can get real picky and say no no i just want to see a weapon that has four of my main attributes that i use on it and then, then your character starts getting real powerful. That's it, though. Did I tell you that? Yeah. Oh, you should have stopped me, man. No, you told me, like, a little bit. You didn't tell me. Okay. Oh, oh this, yeah. This might be it. Nope. So, yeah, the scaling tags is where it is. That's where all the math should start right there. picked up something really good that has see I I've got mine set up I guess what's this oh shoot that's great I just picked up some really good great gloves
Are they better than that one quest gloves? I think um, they're they're kind of they're unique like that though. Yeah. They're yeah they're they're a unique, but they do different things. But yeah, they're as good. Ooh, my melee attacks do pretty good damage. What is that? Oh yeah. Okay, while you're fighting here, I'm gonna see something real quick. If the sound is is good on the stream, I don't know if it is. Let's see. That's good. That's good, 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 good. Chain lightning. You have chain lightning? No, your chain lightning. Yeah. It's really yeah. good. It is good. I'm gonna keep maxing it. I wanted this to be a, a complete electric build. Dang. And I'm five levels smaller than you. That's pretty good. I haven't like put in my points in a while though. You wanna stop and do it? Do yeah. I have all right, I have some. I think. Yeah, I'm all lightning on this guy completely. Ward on kill defense. I'm staying alive pretty good. I don't need any. Ooh. Where's Nova? Oh, that is it. Three. What is ward? Oh, Attention. so it's yeah, that's good. So right above your health globe is a little black slot and it will start filling up with blue, a blue little light. That's your shield. So it's basically visually just like it sounds before your health is chipped away. They got to make it through that ward. That's your magical shield basically your health as a as a spellcaster so the ward retention will make it stay that little bar will stay lit up longer every time you gain a ward it's a magical bubble you keep throwing on you know that keeps depending on how you build your person your character does that make sense that's nice yeah it's great Einar's um, spell blade I mean it just can't take any damage just because that ward, he's got it built to where that ward is constant, constant, constant. I'm reading all the blood splatter things. Sure, sure. It's kind of like a chess game. Finding damage only. Also, as you're putting like armor on, you you might want to hit C every now and then and look at all of your resistances. Because you want to try and get all those different, you know, if, if, a, if a mob 
which is what you call the monsters, if they're shooting lightning or cold, the more resistance you can build up on your armor, they won't hurt you as bad. You know, you go into a boss fight that does completely physical damage and the first time they get through that ward just a little bit and you don't have any resistances, you're dead immediately. So as you go on, that's something else to start looking for with your build. And when you hit that little character sheet and you start looking at all the tabs with all the math, <laughs> it's, the damage, it'll really start making sense. And, and you'll be like, wow, I can just totally make what I want. Yeah. You can literally find one piece of gear and it does something so awesome that you just decide, you know what, I'm going to maximize this character in one direction completely different and they play totally different. Oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah. That's your bread and butter. That's your bread and butter. So your, your attack sequence, that thing you just laid down is what then generates all the damage from your other skills. So you drop that thing on the ground and you start hitting them with other things and there's there's fireballs coming out of that thing hitting them and curses oh you're cursing them too those spirits that puts a curse on them which then causes other skills that you have to go crazy because they have a curse on them and me too actually let me see if I have any that'll yeah, there's a lot of powers that it does different things, you know, worse things to a cursed enemy because that's the idea of having a curse, you know. No, I accidentally put a skill point on this move. I didn't mean to when I equipped it. On They're your, not, like, it has a thing at the top. I don't, I don't know how to get rid of that. On your, on your passive or on your skills? Is it your... Like, what's, like the skill buff. Like the points you can put into your skills. Which one? You can take it off. Which one was it? The Infernal Shade. I love that thing, but <coughs> if you want to take it off, isn't there a respec button in the upper right? I don't know. On your sheet, do you see the word respec? And you're in. Oh, yeah, I see that. You're in skills, right? Yeah, you just hit that little. When you're on whatever your hit respec, and you can take one point away. Now, let me explain something. Since you're on here, real quick, you see that X, you see your XP bar on your skill to the upper left. Yeah. So even though you're going to take a point away, it's not going to give you the point back right now, but it's going to accelerate that experience bar up there. So in about three minutes, if you were to take five points away and it didn't give them to you back, like in 20 minutes, you're going to start ding, ding. It's going to start giving you the points back as you're using your, your existing skills. Gives you a second to learn your new skill if you switched. But you get your points back right away, so I wouldn't be afraid to take it off. Then you can put it in a couple minutes, it'll ding, and you can put it in the right spot. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, there we go. I'm done. Okay. Yeah, now you're vicious now. Now you're a total Shelock, 100%. What, is it? what does that mean? You picked your... When it had you... 
when it had you choose your mastery, you could never go back. So now you have all of the um, the skill attributes and stuff that a warlock class has only. Well, I thought it was just called a warlock. I shoot up. Well, warlock, if you look the definition up, is a man that blah, blah, blah. So they should have called it a she-lock until they get a man character, see? I'm just being funny. It's supposed to be a little, little joke. Talk to my mom. Go ahead. Ooh, ooh. Kind of fun. Oh yeah, that that fissure you put in the ground is cr nah, that thing's vicious. What well, what move did you get? Like the meteor? Yeah, I've got meteor. God, that's cool. But once you get close to Einar and I's level thirty, and you're like hanging around in that level when we play. Which then we'll then we'll start um, syncing our skills up to where we'll pick certain things that complement, you know, like makes meteor. You'll pick something that'll make meteor even more dangerous, and vice versa. Your curses are huge for different effects from other players. Because a lot of us will have abilities that do extra damage to cursed enemies, see, and you're putting that curse on them. Is the curse supposed to be going? Hmm? I think so, yeah. Yes, sir. Boss fight. Right up top, yeah. The... Uh oh. Oh. Oh boy. Oh, she's mean too. Ooh. I should have dodged that. She telegraphs her stuff pretty easy. It, Mr. There we go. You should be able to res now. It pains me to see an yeah. elder twist. Um, there you go. What a waste. You completed it though still because I didn't die. See? Teamwork. Extreme <laughs> work. What level are you now? I'll check after I'm done loading yeah. to the end of time. Yeah, I'll look. I can, you know, I need to quit asking that because I can hit social. And look myself once I'm done loading. They have sped up the loading screens, but still, it's a little... Seems like they're going to get faster on that. Ooh, level 20.
Intelligence also is a big mm -hmm. stat for you. It's true. Okay. Okay, you're, um, I wonder if I can, I wonder if I have, you know, I think I can give you my loot filter for my warlock pretty easy. I think if I look inside of, I think in the folder there's an actual file that I can send you. Copy it and paste it in the game. Yeah, I think I can copy and paste it. There she is. Yep. Ooh, I can. Export filter. Oh, I can. That's amazing. All right. Wow. Here, check this out. I'm going to paste something to you in chat in the game. Let's see if this works, man. This is amazing if it does. I'm getting party chat. Or private. All right, here we go. Send message. Control V. Boom. Cool. Did you do you get did you do you see that message I just sent you? Yeah, I don't know how to click it though. Um, you don't click it, but start at the bottom and left click and just oh shoot, you can't highlight it. Can't. No, man, that, they gotta fix that. Wow. Oh. I see you can't. Okay, in Discord. Let me put it in Discord. I'll put it right in this chat, okay? in the channel chat that we're in. Hold on, I had to pop my chat, okay. You see that text in um, Discord chat? It's the same yeah. thing. Just copy it all the way. Um, the, it's the question mark is where the code starts. What does that do? You're gonna, you're gonna, after you copy it, just let me know. You're gonna go into the game and bring up your loot filter. Okay, I'm there. I copied it. All right, let me bring up my loot filter so I can tell you. All right, so. Um, Go to, um, let me tell you the right thing to do. At the very top, um, it says select loot filter. Do you see that? Um, yeah. Okay, so let me, let me put this guy back. Oh, source cycle one. Okay, one sec, I just want to be where you are. All right, so now that you hit that plus symbol, do you see where it says um, paste clipboard contents? Yeah. Just click it. That's all you have to do. And then name your edit that rule, and that's for my warlock, clairvoyance. not letting me all right here let me try it it might be a little clunky on let me Is see there if... after the question mark no include the question mark so it'll be the the code starts as question mark xml that's a markup language not working let me try and paste it i copied the same thing Winston Chatkins. 
The clipboard does not have a valid loop filter. Okay. All right, maybe it's me. Hold on. Usually is the person with these computers. Let me get it. Okay. So I want to pick clairvoyance. And I want to... Oh, I want to export it. For a bit. Clairvoyance, export, copy to clipboard. Okay, I just copied it. Let me paste it now. Okay, I messed up then. So here, either I messed up or you messed up. So just I'm going to paste the text again inside of Discord. Control V. Did you get it? Yeah, I did it. Yeah, in Discord. In the last Epoch channel. Mm-hmm. Did you edit it, or is it the same thing? Same message? Um, Sounds it. Oh, will it not paste the same? Let me delete this message. Delete the old one. I'll paste a new one. Here we go. How about there? Copy that whole thing. Everything. Copy text. This clipboard does not have a valid loop filter import. Well, hold on. Let me try it. Let me see what's... Okay, here. Let me see. Export filter, copy to clipboard. Let's see what's different. Let's just see what's different here. What I'm doing is I'm just going to pull up Notepad, and I'm going to copy that f that first code that I sent to you. Okay, there's the first one, and then here. This is okay. I just copied what I'm getting ready to send to you, and let me see if it if it creates one. Yes. Okay. So this is what you let me go back to Discord. Let's try this one more time, and then we won't mess with it after this. I'll have to email email or something. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Control V. And let's expand it. I want you to hit. I want you to download this one. Okay. Yeah. And call it um, LE for last epoch. And it should, you know, just be a text filter. And then after you save it, mm -hmm. just open up the text file and copy the code. And then after you have it copied, go into Last Epoch and it, it'll work. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing 
doing it myself, so. Oh, I think it's working now. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I just did it myself, and there you go. <clears throat> then when we're done playing, I'll work on one for that. I'll go back through that and make sure it has that awesome thing I was telling you where it hides and only drops the weapons that have, like, you know, you could adjust it. I want two of these tags that I use, but it will only be the tags for your warlock based on the skills you have. Thanks. All right. I think um, my, my friends just got on, so cool. I think I'm going to Cool. Perfect play. timing. Perfect timing. Well, you got, what, two levels? Yeah, I think That's so. That's most excellent. I think I'm done for a bit, too. This guy's, um, yeah. Perfect. Have fun. I'll let Thanks. you know when we can play. We'll play that. Um, he, do, Einar really loves that game you're playing. He, he gives me a hard time in it. Yeah. I stumble around in VR. It's funny. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later, man. All right. See you. Bye. What? Cool kid. Yep. All right. On to the the LaRue. Yeah. I think I've fallen in love with that rogue that with the um personal falcon. <laughs> 